president, President Donald Trump, is on his way back to the White House after visiting Wisconsin. This is him getting off Air Force One in Green Bay this afternoon. People lined the streets as the presidential motorcade passed by. He visited Marinette Marine and took a tour of the shipyard before speaking to employees. 12 News' Matt Smith is live in Marinette tonight. Matt, the president touted a military contract for the company. Yeah, Patrick, the president here touting that new contract, five and a half billion dollars, really an extension for the shipyard to continue building ships for the Navy before addressing a crowd of about 700 employees here at the shipyard. The president first took a little bit of a tour. Take a listen. They're magnificent, fast, with tremendous firepower, all built in Wisconsin. So we're very happy about it. It's a big contract. Thank you. That's the president inside one of the shipyards talking with executives because of coronavirus employees here were given masks to wear. Temperature checks were taken on the tour and while speaking, the president himself and some of his cabinet members who were here did not wear masks. This speech, much less a campaign speech that we've heard in recent days and weeks from the president, much more a message for employees here in northeast Wisconsin coming from a critical part of not only Wisconsin, but Michigan looking ahead to November. We're here today to celebrate the resounding victory for all of you, for Wisconsin, for the United States military, and for our entire nation. Our nation is very proud of Wisconsin. Not long ago, the future of this historic shipyard was looking, can I use the word bleak? Yes, I think we can. It was looking bleak. You were down to 44 people, and it was getting ready to close up. Then a lot of good things came along. Matt, how did this contract come about? Yeah, so the ship you saw the president standing behind, that's the littoral combat ship. There are five left here in the shipyard. That contract with the Navy was wrapping up. The administration, of course, taking a lot of credit for this new contract. Really, though, this was a lot of work at the state and federal level by both Republicans and Democrats and now signed into law in part of the new Defense Authorization Act that the president signed. And here we are today.